Hi there, welcome to QA Box. Let's test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. So, in this video, we are going to learn how can we create a function using function expression syntax. In this video on functions, I've shown how can we create a function using function declaration syntax which is something like this you use the keyword function followed by the name of the function and then in inside these parentheses we pass in the parameters followed by the body of the function okay i would also request you to watch memory hoisting the difference between let and var and inferred globals and different scopes in javascript before you watch this particular video because i've explained some concepts in there which I'm going to refer to in this video to explain the difference that we'll observe between the functions created using these two syntaxes. All right, so let's move on to the functions and understand the function expression. So function expression is very similar to and has almost the same syntax as a function declaration. The main difference between a function expression and a function declaration is the function name since that can be omitted in case of function expression syntax and that leads to anonymous functions so this is how we create function using function declaration all you have to do is assign this to a variable name okay to a symbol name and now since this is optional you can take this out so this function has no name and hence it's called as anonymous function and this function is assigned to the symbol name all right that's your function expression syntax and anonymous functions now how how can you call this function very simple so you say channel name and to invoke a function we have to use these parentheses and let's provide some values so i provided these values and if you hit the enter now so you see the output okay now we talked about anonymous okay we have talked about function expressions let's now talk about immediately invoked function expression as the name suggests function that runs as soon as it's defined all right so let's use the same function and convert it into an immediately invoked function expression so all you have to do is wrap this function inside parentheses and how to invoke more parentheses right add more parentheses and now you say qa box and to pass into parameters you say let's test and now the outcome would be qa box let's test okay there is one more way you can define these function expressions and that is by using the fat arrow a fat arrow function expression is a syntactically compact alternative to a regular function expression although without its own binding to the this keyword arguments super or new dot target keywords right arrow function expressions are ill suited as methods and they cannot be used as constructors though you have to take care of all these things when you use the fat arrow function however when you have to write you know very neat and clean code this is what you have to use and it's already mentioned it's a compact alternative to a regular function and what we can do is how can i write the same function but into fat arrow syntax all you have to do is you have to take this out okay and since there is only one line of code so the syntax is you have to use this fat arrow and since you have only one line in the function body you can take all this out okay so now you could see that in one line we can write the same code okay let's give it fat arrow let's give it a different name and let's hit enter and now let's invoke this function and provide in some values so we say q 
QA box and and this time we say let's test okay and if you hit enter you get the result back so that's your fat arrow syntax now let's talk about this definition for a while so functions are objects and they are treated as first class citizens all right so why so we can declare a function we have seen that using function declaration all right we can invoke a function more importantly we can invoke a function all right now here we have seen that we can assign a function to a variable great we also have seen that when these functions are defined in inside an object they are called as methods so you can also have functions inside your object right we've also seen in one of the example that you know you can have functions stored inside your arrays okay and a function it's let's see that practically and then i'll explain that okay so you can have a function okay let's give it a name um, let's call it outer um, yeah let me use this okay so you could see that he's a function all right with the name outer and it is accepting an argument in a function and then this argument is being invoked and we know that only the functions can be invoked all right so we are passing a function as an argument to another function that's why they are first class citizens right so now that's that's your another function right inner function so now what we are doing is we are invoking the outer function and passing in the inner right and when you do so this is what you will see in the response from inner function because of all these characteristics right a function is considered as a first class citizens all right now we have learned the function declaration syntax as well as the function expression syntax so what's the difference between these all right and when to use which one so let's understand so that. if you have watched my video on hoisting then i've explained what hoisting is so there's a preparation phase and there's an execution phase so in preparation phase what jet compiler does is it moves all the declaration to the top okay so to explain the difference the first difference between and the most important difference between these two different syntaxes i have created this code and you could see that there is a function a that is being invoked in line 2 function b is being invoked so function a is created using the function declaration syntax and function b is created using the function expression syntax and when you execute this program you see that function declaration a that's the body of the function so you can invoke a function which is created using function declaration syntax even before it's defined however it's not true for the functions created using function expression syntax and hence you could see that the variable though b is created but it's still a variable to the compiler and therefore it says it's not a function okay however if you write the same code like this then you can run this because when it comes to execution the function is assigned to the variable declared during the preparation phase and now it's a function hence you can call this all right so that's a main difference the other thing i've already talked about when you are using the fat arrow you have to understand that you know the this behavior of fat arrow that it's uh, it does not have its own binding to the this argument super and new target keywords okay so when to use which one so if you need a function that is required throughout your program so you have to create it at the global scope however if you don't want to pollute a program or a program has to be executed only once you have to go for function expression syntax uh, for this tutorial that's what i wanted to cover
थैंक यू सो मच बाय